Men of the Nigeria Police Force have located and destroyed an illegal refinery where petrol are being produced in Port Harcourt, the river's state capital. According to news statement by the first public relations officer, Olumuywa Adejabi, the four suspects were arrested when team of policemen invaded the scene of crime on Thursday. According to Olumuywa, the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Egbetokun has warned criminals against economic sabotage and re echoed fight against the saboteurs in the country. The operatives of the IGP Special Task Force on Petroleum and Illegal Bunkery, IGPSTFPIB, have once again made a significant breakthrough in the continuous fight against all theft, illegal bunkery and economic sabotage. This milestone achievement was marked after the operatives, in collaboration with the Department of Operations, River State Command, on the 12th of September 2024, met discovery of a storage facility in Trans Amadi, Port Harcourt, River State, used in dealing and processing illegally acquired crude oil. This operation had led to the arrest of four, four suspects namely, Emmanuel Uwachi, Mel, 58 years, Adamu Bala, Mel, 35 years, Nora Musa, Mel, 22 years, Bashir Abubaka, Mel, 28 years, and the recovery of 40,000 liters of petroleum products stored in 67 white storage tanks. The team, however, destroyed the site and recovered the equipment and machines used in committing these crimes. The Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Adeolu Egmetokun, has re emphasized the commitment of the force to tackling every form of crime, criminality, and corruption extending to those involved in this economic sabotage. The force remains unyielding and will continue to bring these perpetrators to book, Olumuiwa stated. Meanwhile, the Inspector General of Police has paid an unscheduled visit to inspect the police training base in Benin City, the Edo State Capital on Thursday. During the visit, the police boss harps on professionalism and discipline. Olumuiwa in a press statement said, the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Adeolu Egbetukun, today September 12, 2024, made an unscheduled visit to the Police Training School and the Police Mobile Force, PMF-5 in Benin City, Edo State, as part of his ongoing efforts to ensure that police training across the country adheres to the highest standards of professionalism, discipline, and service. The IGP was accompanied by the AIG Zone 5, Benin, AIG Azumwa Uwazu, CP Edo State, CP Nemi Iwo, SIS, CP Lanre Ogunlowo, and the Force Pro, ACP Muiwa Adejobi. During the visit, the IGP inspected various facilities, including the recruits' dormitories, classrooms, and the kitchen, where meals for trainees are prepared. He took a special interest in the welfare of the recruits, currently totaling 492, and commended the staff on their commitment to training the next generation of officers. The IGP stressed that discipline remains the cornerstone of a successful career in the Nigeria police force, and without discipline, no individual can survive the rigors of the police force. He further highlighted that the foundation laid during the training period is crucial, as it molds the recruits into effective and efficient police officers ready to serve the nation with integrity. In his address to the recruits, the IGP charged them to embrace professionalism, respect for human rights, and dedication to duty. He reiterated the importance of remaining disciplined and focused as these traits are vital for the successful execution of their duties and for maintaining public trust in the force. The IGP further announced his plan to carry out unscheduled visits to other police training schools across the country. These visits aim to ensure that training programs align with the core values of the force which are professionalism, discipline, and dedication to service. The Inspector General of Police remains committed to reforming and improving police training and operations to meet the challenges of modern policing. Sasuwa Kong Nebu, bringing you the news in a more digital way.